It's Tuesday! We all know what that means. Absolutely nothing. Just means that it's Tuesday. You thought it was going to be something special. Sorry to disappoint. So, the other day I was just searching things on YouTube as people do. People of the internet like myself do. And I honestly don't remember what the heck I was looking for originally. But, I came across a mildly entertaining uh, montage, I guess, video montage that somebody had made of every single time Hugh Laurie goes on an American talk show, the host asks him, or clarifies for him, that he's not really American. He's, he's actually British, even though he does American quite well on House. And he always looks so bored and so tired of that question. And, well, wouldn't you be if everyone stated the obvious to your face every single time you had to speak in public? to another human being. And really, I think everyone knows by now that he's not American, and to people who don't, I mean, they probably don't care anyway. So that got me thinking of if I ever encountered a situation where I had to ask Hugh Laurie a question, which would never happen, I was wondering what I would ask him. And to be perfectly honest, I came up completely blank. But I did come up with what I would ask House, the fictional character, fictitious character, whichever you prefer, if I ever met him. And I think I did pretty well. It might be a little cliche, but I really want to know what this question what the answer to this question would be. The question is, if House were stuck on a desert island with the rest of the people from House, so Cuddy, Foreman, Taub, Thirteen, Throwing Cameron, Chase. Maybe the new girl whose name escapes me and is really annoying. If all of those people were stuck on an island and they had no food and no way of getting off, who would a house eat first? I really want to know who a house would eat first. Whoever made house, I'll ask them that and I'll let you guys know. So after that thought, I continued to click on related videos. And I came across a bunch of videos of Stephen Fry appearing on, uh, the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, which is usually quite entertaining. Favorite one, though, was when he was discussing the phrase, only in America. And apparently that means something different for Americans than it does for non-Americans. Or maybe it's just me. But whenever I think of only in America, I think of something kind of ridiculous or impractical or silly or just, like, somehow bad or negative that only happens in America. Like, um, those lists that used to go around in emails. Remember email? Those lists of things only in America, like only in America do we have drive through ATMs with braille on them and handicap parking at ice rinks and only in America can pizza get to your house faster than an ambulance. And that sort of thing. But apparently for Stephen Fry it meant something wonderful. Like, I don't really remember. He was saying that only in America are people so nice and welcoming and letting of other people into their lives and their homes. And I'm from New Hampshire. We're not nice there. Um, we're not mean. We're just not, like, Midwestern nice. Like, I went to Chicago once. Wow, everyone's really happy to see everybody. In New Hampshire, you don't look at each other. You just walk on by, and that's that's considered normal. It's weird if you say hi to people. They wonder what you want from them, or if you're going to try to murder them or something. So anyway, point of this story is, I guess it's kind of refreshing, or nice. I hate using the word nice, but yeah, refreshing. It's sort of refreshing and, and pleasantly surprising to find that other non-Americans find America is such a pleasant and wonderful place. Maybe because, I don't know, been here whole life. Only left it a couple of times. Most of the times we go to Canada. It doesn't count. Still, it's cool to know that the phrase only in America means something good to other people. Because I guess I sort of had this idea that the rest of the world sort of looked down on America and thought we were morons, and maybe they do. Maybe they do, and maybe we are, but 
It's nice to know that Stephen Fry likes us, because he's a pretty cool guy. This is Queen Monica is Legoing by Indy8149. You're welcome. Why are you still here? Do something productive with your life.